travel far and wide. Ellie offered up the peace pipe. I took it, then I cried. Said the Sindo, where the winds blow. Yeah, that's where I think I died. And they left me in the valley for them buzzards in the sky. <laughs> No, he went to bed real quick. Last night we camped, uh, we camped just above the, the wind farm. <clears throat> my God, I, I made a big mistake setting up my tent. I should have, uh, I should have cowboy camped. The wind, no joke, must have been about 90 to 100 miles an hour, ripping through the campsite. Um, I spent most of the night, most of the night, with my feet in the air, trying to, trying to keep my, keep my tent upright. Um, but I survived and. Uh, I was having a giggle to myself earlier, uh, Double D, uh, he's, he's hiking with us at the minute. He, uh, he walked past me this morning and I said, how did you sleep? And he said, I never slept a wink and now I've got to walk 17 miles. <laughs> so, but, uh, but look at the views we have, you cannot complain. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just hiking out of Tehachapi at, uh, at the minute on day 33, I think it is, and uh, we've uh, we got seven days, seven days of hiking until we get to uh, Kennedy Meadows, which is the end of the desert. So 
I'll be glad to see the back of that place out there. So, um, I've got seven days worth of food. I've got four liters of uh, four liters of water, and I've got uh, I've got half a bottle of whiskey. Chug all their water, run, and everyone, so everyone's out. And just one big hug to the water source. I've got myself into uh, a little bit of a dilemma. I'm almost out of water, and there's still about nine mile, nine mile to go till the next water source. Uh, the whole group, in fact, is actually down to the last liter, or slightly less. We. Uh, we didn't expect the last uh, the last area that we came through to be so exposed, and it's it's easily reaching 80 or 90 out here. Uh, so about 9.3 miles to go until water. This is going to be tough. I suppose it's the desert's way of uh, just throwing us a few last challenges before we before we leave for the for the Sierras, but. And man, you don't you don't half realize how much you actually appreciate the ability to get off your your backside and walk into the kitchen and just turn on the tap and get some nice cold water. I would give anything anything for a nice glass of cold water right now. Anything. Almost out of water. And I've basically been sipping at this for the last six miles. Still got about an hour three and a half to go. And uh, it's just hot, it's horrible. Mouth is so dry. It's just not enjoyable at all. Big mistake not to, not taking that extra liter. I'm having a creamy chicken pasta. It's actually uh, uh, resting Manny. as we speak. That's the Sierras in the background. <laughs> what do you say to that? Fuck yeah. Have you seen any caravans? About t uh, no sir, <laughs> I ain't seen no caravans today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing in the desert is not is not fun at all. It is not fun. This is horrible. Oh, I think I had some oh, beer out of the back of the shell. Let me see these disgusting things here. <laughs> Let's get on with these things here, man. You need to clean them things out. Fuck it, hell. I've just climbed over over two and a half thousand feet. <laughs> less, less than an hour, and it was basically straight up. 
I'm, uh, I'm rushing to get to the top of the mountain and to get to the other side so I can see the last sunset in the desert. Oh man, I haven't stopped. I'm dying, I'm dying to go to the toilet as well, but I don't want to stop. I have about 20 minutes to go before the sun sets. I'm almost there, almost there. Almost there, last night in the desert. And I saved myself some whiskey. <laughs> Roughly about eight mile from Kennedy Meadows, so it should be there. Should be there in the next three hours max. And it's pretty flat the whole way in. So, but yeah, the desert. The desert has been fantastic. It has put on a a spectacular show. It really has. Like my expectations for the, the desert before I came here was that it was dry, dusty, windy, hot long waterless stretches um, it is that it is every single one of them but it's also beautiful the mountain ranges the views we've seen the people we've met the, the trail angels the papa smurfs the the, the jeffs and rightwood the um, the uh, the people at uh, at hiker heaven the people at casa de luna it's just this just the, the the generosity of the, and the of the people and the, the community it's just one big family it really is it's um it's definitely changed my life uh forever I, I know that already i know that for sure and i've only scratched the surface we've still got a long way to go but i just can't i can't i can't i can't, I can't get over it um i'm eight mile away from finishing the desert that's 703 miles that's a long way, that's a long way, that's a long way. Every, every muscle, every bone, every joint in my body has, has ached at least 10 times. My ankles, my feet are on fire now at the minute. My knee, my right knee is, is uh, I, I don't even want to go there. But we're going to the Sierras next. Sierras, we, uh, I, I cannot wait to get up there. I love the mountains. Like if I have... If I've made it through the desert, and I don't particularly like the heat, not the dry, dusty heat, um, I'm feeling pretty confident. Like I can, I can say this now because this video won't be shown until the trail is over. But I've always maintained, and several people know this, that uh, if I could make it out of the desert, I'll make it to Canada. And I'm. Uh, I've been skipping down the hill all day. I'm just so excited to get up into the mountains. So excited to get up into the Sierras. So excited to go fishing. We're going to feast in the Sierras. We are going to feast. We're going to fish. Oh my God, if I have to catch fish every night. When I see Kennedy Meadows, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to having a few beers. I definitely am. I'm looking forward to having a few beers. But it's been great, it's been great, it's been fantastic. It, is, it has been absolutely fantastic. It has been tough. I'm not going to sit here and paint uh, fairy lights and fluffy clouds. It was tough. The la this last section has been, <laughs> has been horrendous. Big, big carries. Seven days of food. Sometimes 18, 19, 20 mile carries <laughs> with no water. So you're carrying four or five uh, extra litres of water. And you... Uh, I shit you not, you are going up, <laughs> you are going, you are going up mountains, zoop, and then straight back down the other side. And then you can see you have got to go up the other mountain. But, uh, I'm ready for the Sierras. I am ready for the Sierras. <laughs> it's a river. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. There's a river. Just before Canada Meadows. 
Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in weeks. I am, I am most certainly going for a swim. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm out of the desert. I'm just walking into uh, Kennedy Meadows. Man, I can't believe I'm here. I cannot believe I'm in Kennedy Meadows. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. The Sierras in the distance behind me. My God. <laughs> yes! I don't even listen I'm a bad